Well, the French of Four is the only international uh, sporting event where the colleges in America come across to play in outside of America. So it, it is a, a fantastic opportunity for us to see in Northern Ireland great ice hockey, but it's also a great opportunity for these college students to see another part of the world. Having the competition up and running is huge for us. I mean, we, we pride ourselves in these international events because, number one, it introduces a lot of ice hockey players to Northern Ireland that we may recruit, but it also puts on a spotlight on Belfast and Northern Ireland for the right reasons. It's filmed and uh, put on TV in both America and Canada, um, and it's a high quality of hockey as well. Uh, I think it's great for the, the, the youths of Northern Ireland as well. We give away 10,000 tickets to the school kids in Northern Ireland to come and see these role models who used their skill, which is ice hockey, to earn a degree and to progress themselves in life. So I think it's a great story. Generally, when you play hockey games, the players would see airports, hotels in the arena, and that's it. So when we set the tournament up, we made sure that we had them on the ground for a full week and they integrated into the culture of Northern Ireland. So they're eating in local restaurants, they're going and doing school visits to the local schools, both Catholic and Protestant schools. Uh, they're do doing the tourism um, opportunities as well. Some are going to the North Coast, some are doing the Titanic Museum, some are doing the, the, the Black Cab tours. And then the hockey, of course, is, is what, what they're here for. Transition now. It's huge to have the competition back up and running. I think now that it's back, you know, it's a great opportunity for me to get to the arena and, and scout these players for the future of the Belfast Giants. And some of these players are going to end up playing in the NHL, which is a great opportunity for our fans to watch a different brand of hockey, a different style of hockey. In the land of the Giants, everybody is equal, that ethos. Um, everybody feels welcome here at the building and gets to support uh, the, the city of Belfast. And I think we're the only team, uh, professional, sports team with the name Belfast and so it's something that the the entire city can get behind and I think uh, you know I mean it's an exciting sport there's there's a little bit of uh, physicality and there's obviously a certain element of toughness that, that goes with the sport and a lot of skill and, and talent uh, you need you need a little bit of it all to, to play ice hockey so I think that the fans really enjoy that that aspect of it. I think the event is, is fantastic in building the transatlantic relationships. Uh, it started on the back of the Belfast and Boston Sister City Agreement. Uh, and, and from this, we've created so many other opportunities and relationships that have turned into something tangible. I do think people in Northern Ireland have embraced the Belfast Giants. I think at the time that they came, they did some things very clever at the beginning, the way that they didn't discriminate against, against race, religion, social class, gender. They picked neutral colors and they welcomed everybody into the building. So we're very proud of the success that we have on the ice with the Giants, but I think we take more pride in what we do in the community.